on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Not nothing all going. Hey, man. So, yeah, man, we got us one today. We we down here in H-Town. You know what I'm saying? We we, we actually set up today in uh, Ronnie Spencer's uh, studio. studio. Yeah, so it's, it's a different feel for us, but I'm loving the vibe, man. All this all this equipment in here got me feeling like I'm some kind of artist. Check it, man. So I got my boy Mo Cash in the building today, man. Mo Cash, what's going on, baby? Man, I'm cooling, man. Just so, chilling. All right, all right. So, so man, just uh, just a little bit about yourself. Uh, wh- where are you from? And I'm, I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Oh, you from Lake Charles? Yeah, yeah. Stomp down. Yeah, yeah. You the know, how to eat, yeah, love to eat, love to eat that food, that old exotic flavor food they oh, got yeah. down that seafood. You got crawfish, that touffe, gumbo. Yeah, already, man. So, okay, so how you end up in Houston, H Town? Man, just dealing with the weather and stuff. You know, had to relocate. Okay. Been out here for about three years, man. Just putting it down with my music. Already. So, so tell me. Um. So, you got a song with Ronnie Spencer. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of that song? So I grind. So I grind. Uh, how did you guys process that? Man, before I moved out here, I used to uh, go record over there by Harvey Love. Okay. So I did a lot of music with Harvey Love. We like we reconnected once we moved. So you know, I had a song that I was trying to do. And the only two people I can hear on it was uh, either Zero or uh, Ronnie Spencer. Okay, Zero or either Ronnie Spencer. Yeah. So yeah. so basically, you knew that these people need to be on there. Yeah, yeah, either or. Either or. Yeah. And so how did you end up, how did you end up linking up with Ronnie? Uh, just in the studio, just rapping the song and stuff. And I told, I told uh, Harvey, I was like, man, you think you can get in touch with Ronnie Spencer? He was like, yeah, yeah, he was over the other day. I said, well, call him up, man. Let's make it happen. And it, and it, and it happened. And it happened like that. That's organic, man. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you, uh, <clears throat> so what was the process for us on his end? What were you expecting from him? And did you get everything that you felt like you were supposed to get? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got everything I, I, I wanted and, and more. Wow. Yeah. He wow. really did his thing on it. Wow. So, so how long did, was the process? Man, it didn't take that long. It don't take me long. I get in there, do what I got to do, and get out. You punch in or what you do? You, nah, you write? Nah, nah, I, I take it. I, I write, go in there, and I first take it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, what you got? So have you always wanted to be in the music industry? Yeah, yeah. My daddy a DJ and my mama a singer. Oh, really? So it's in the, it's in the blood? Yeah, it's in my DNA. Okay, okay. Senior so, Dina. Yeah. Are they still here? No, uh my mama, she passed away. But my okay. daddy's still here. He's still a DJ. He's still a DJ? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Is he good? Oh, yeah, he good. Okay. He can DJ. Well, where we stay, he DJ in every club that, that was up and popping. He's he been in there. So how old were you when you started music? Uh, I'd say kind of about like around seven, seven. Mm-hmm. And, when did, and how old were you when you started taking it serious? Started taking it serious probably, uh, I'd say about 17, 18. And what led up to you taking it serious? Like, reason why? What What did it for you? My brothers, they, they used to rap around the house and freestyle and stuff. And I just like, man, how y'all do that? They start telling me, man, you just got to, whatever whatever you go through in the day, man, if you can make a rap about it, then, man, you, you got something going on. And I'll make a rap about everything I went through in the day. And they like, man, you really put that together. And that's when I knew, I, hey, I can make this happen. Mm. So is it true, okay, so were you good in school? Yeah, yeah, I was good in school. Because I always feel like well, if you're rapping, you're supposed to be able to ace English, ace oh, yeah. poetry. Oh, yeah. Is that true? Oh, yeah, that's true. So those were your favorite classes? Oh, yeah. English was cool. Was cool. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So do you feel like uh, it was another song you had? Another, uh, is it a single? Yeah, it's called Bag Talk. Have, have you put some visuals to it yet? No, not a visual to it yet. But you you, you, you going to put you some, I want to see that thing, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's putting it coming together. What's, what Bag Talk was? So what, is, what, what, what inspired it? Uh, it sounds like money. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of money, you know, coming from, from nothing to something, you know. Some, hey, hey, that's how you turn it. That's how you get it. You got to grind. Oh, if you yeah. don't grind, you don't shine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man don't work, he should not eat. Yeah, he should not eat. <laughs> he yeah. don't better not be at the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I got I got a saying called grind hard, shine bright. Already, man. That's 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 good game. Yeah. So so do you how do you like the music up in the H Town area since you've been here from Lake Charles? Man, it always I've always down, you know, S U C I always down key keys and the the big pokies and stuff. So the the music I just fell right in. Well, how, how is it different from where you from? Like Lake Charles, you got Boosie and them down there in Baton Rouge. You got, uh, you know, you got the Birdman, them down there out of New Orleans. You know, of course, they're in Miami now. But them yeah. boys, man, hey, listen, man, them boys punching a mean punch down there in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Mystical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got talent down there, man. Yeah, so so how, how, how different is the music? Y'all got that bounce thing going down there. Yeah, a little bounce, but when you like two hours away from Texas, man, you can't. There's no no other way but to, you know, catch catch on to that to that culture too. That wave as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You let me know, man. Uh, so so your top three artists of all time. Who 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 would you pick for your top three artists of all time, dead or alive, in genre? Man, you got got to be Tupac. Okay. That's everybody's list. Yeah, yeah. Tupac was a beast. Uh, oh uh, man. Yeah, I don't want to step on nobody's toes, man. Uh, Cause I'm from the boot. I, I jam Boosie. Gotta Boosie. be Boosie. Yeah, and uh, if I would go, you know, gotta gotta be uh, Jada Kiss. You know, Jada oh. Kiss. Yeah, Kiss yeah. of Death, nigga. That that's my guy right there. Yeah, you just yeah. hit me, boy, in the stomach, boy. Yeah. That boy lyrical, ain't it? Do yeah. I like him? Is that my guy? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, man. I, I actually reached out and, and, and hollered him. He reposted one of one of my freestyles. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. That, that made me laugh. I'm like, yeah, I listened to his music, and he actually responded back to me and reposted me. So, yeah. Have you ever asked him to do a feature with you? Oh, yeah. But then, then he started doing that, uh, that versus. Mm-hmm. He got kind of. Oh, he got hot. Yeah, he got kind of. I can reach out and touch him too if you need me to. Okay, okay, we we'll make yeah, that yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, but he won that money. Last time the numbers wasn't they wasn't low. Oh yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> the my the my them numbers hey, they, 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 num- women lie, men lie. Numbers don't. Yeah, and after that versus, uh, I that know. That number went up. Man. Man, that boy feel, hey, that boy feeling himself right now, and, they, and, like, and rightfully so, because he, he he went in on that. Oh yeah, yeah, he deserve everything he getting plus so, more. So let me ask you this: uh, wh- What do you want in in this music career? Are you uh, you know taking it serious, yep. dealing with Ronnie Spencer, somebody who been doing music since before you probably was knee high to a grasshopper? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What, what I mean? What do you want from this music? Man, I really want to you know uh, make a living you know off off of what I know how to do you know off of my craft. You know, I say, you know, work hard at it and, and, and it's going to everything going to start working out. Wow. So so do you feel like uh, you're doing everything that you possibly should be doing at this point in your career right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm going down the, the right path. You know, I can just kind of clean it up a little bit and, and, and stay grind, grinding harder, you know, and focus. Are you into the auto tune sound or do you like just regular vocals? What, what What's up with you? I like res- regular vocals. I like it to be a be original, but if I would go auto tune, it it'll, it'll be like in the chorus or in the hook or something mm-hmm. like that, just to make it sound good. But I think you should keep it original, you know. Where do you see yourself in the next? I want to say about a year. About a year. Man. Realistically speaking. In about a year. I should be bump, bumping shoulders with the, with the people that that's that's on the radio and stuff. My music gonna be playing in rotation with with, with theirs. Cool. And what are you doing for that to happen? Just every day I'm a- at it. Anything dealing with music, I'm on it. What do you think your strong point is when it comes down to the way you deliver your music? Uh, I'm versatile. I can I can talk about anything. You know, somebody that's going through it or whatever. I can talk about that. I can talk about, you know, uh, the the party life. I can talk about just whatever, whatever it is. 
Well, a very controversial subject that came up when Boosie went up on Breakfast Club. Uh, he, um, that was some things that happened. He was kind of, looked like he was ambushed. Um, when he went up there, it, it, they had uh, asked him some questions about uh, the gays. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you, uh, what do you feel, do you feel like that, did I say that right? Or do you feel like that's not the way you seen it? Did you, what, did you have an opportunity to watch him on Breakfast Club? I think, you know, every, everybody got their own opinion on things. Uh, I mean, I don't have nothing. Did to you see it, the Breakfast Club episode? Yeah, okay. yeah, I seen it. I don't have nothing against the gays, but, you know, you know, it teaches on. If a person want to be that way, you know, or, or be that way, that, that, that's just on them. I think I think Boosie kind of feel the same way, but do you feel like it was an ambush situation, or do you feel like, um, do you feel like it was it was legit? You know, nah, for nah, nothing was legit about that, man. You seem like it was some to it. Yeah, yeah, it kind of was, man. And you, it, did it seem like they was what, lay, you know, kind of trying to allude to the fact of pressing him into some yeah. uh, type of situation? Yeah, because look what it did. He he dropped his his movie, and then, you know, it all happened like. And yeah, they kicked him off Instagram again. In the same time span, trying to stop that man from making money. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't respect stuff like that, man. Wow. That's and and cool. those are the questions that you have to ask. You know, coming out of Louisiana, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of I, – I got a guy that's coming on the 17th from Louisiana that allude to the fact that he started out with Birdman and him and that yeah, they didn't yeah. uh, take care of him on his uh, – on, on his. you know, basically he, he not from New Orleans. He's uh -huh. from, uh, I think, Kentucky, and yeah. he's flying in to be on my show. Okay. And he's saying that uh, at the first, and he got Manny Fresh saying that he was the one that came up with different things from them. Do you, how do you feel about Birdman and the way that he does business? Do you feel like he takes care of his guys, or do you feel like he don't? I mean. Yeah. I'm just asking. You can, it's either way, because I got my own opinion. I feel like he, he take care of them guys, you know. I mean, everybody that he, he ever brought in, I feel like they, they blew up. He, he took care of them. I mean, in, anything from now, if they do anything from right now, man, they, it's going to blow. Okay. So okay, I good feel answer. like they're they, they getting what they getting out the game. Whatever you work to get, that's what you're going to get. Wow. I like your answer. So how do how can people get a hold of you? Uh, they can go follow me on uh, Instagram. It's mocash underscore music. Okay. You know, they can check me out on there. It's just everything on there, my life on there. Already, man. Well, hey, man, one thing I can say about it, man, I love uh, the fact that you, uh, you know, um, got this going with Ronnie mm -hmm. uh, and that you got your, your, your banger out, your single, yeah. and you're and you about to press forward these visuals. Make sure you send me send them to me, man. Let me check them out, man. I got you, man. Uh, and, you. and, you know, we're the hardest uh, podcast out there right now. Oh, yeah, I had to come fuck with y'all. <laughs> yeah. Say, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. We love you, Mo Cash. Yeah, we love, I love y'all too, man. Say, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out. What's up?